All right, what's up, everybody? This is Carlton Flowers with Color Boss Custom Auto Body Shop, and we have our special video today. We are going to be discussing the famous or infamous, it depends on your opinion, Harbor Freight Purple HVLP Paint Gun made by Central Pneumatic. Okay, so this is a 1.4 millimeter HVLP gun that you can get for $9.99 on sale at Harbor Freight. I have bought these in the past. In fact, here's one that I had bought, uh, I guess it was about three years ago, and dug it out of a drawer at home. And I just went and purchased four of these. I bought one a few weeks ago, and I tested it. And it passed the little test that I did that I'll tell you about. So I bought three more. And so here's the backups that haven't even come out of the box yet. There is raging debate on whether or not this is a junk gun or if it can shoot like your more expensive guns. Like, let's say, for instance, here is my clear coat gun. This is an Iwata Supernova. This gun was about $1,000 brand new. You can get them between $600 and $800 right now. I'm going to be getting a new Iwata, the, uh, what's it called? I can't remember the number. It's the 400 gun that I want to use for base coat. Um, and then I'm a big fan of Devilbus also. And of course, I love SADA guns. They're all um, very high performing. But the Harbor Freight gun for $9.99, you either love it or you hate it. So I'm going to debunk some of the issues that have sparked so many discussions in the videos that we see where body shop professionals are arguing vehemently with the do-it-yourself crowd back and forth where some people say that this is a garbage gun that could never shoot and then other people say it shoots just as good as your thousand dollar paint guns so what is the truth well it's somewhere in between because these guns can shoot top quality paint jobs if you know what you're doing with it the people who say that it shoots like garbage they're not lying because sometimes they do well here's why Here's a gun right out of the box. It is out of this box. As a matter of fact, this one I have already been using. As you can see, I have my PPS adapter mounted on top of the gun, and I've used it to shoot primer. Even though it has a 1.4 needle and tip, if you reduce the primer 4 to 1, I shoot the Nason Select Prime 2K42119 that goes 4 to 1 with the hardener. And if you go 4 to 1 to 1 and use 44121 reducer, you can shoot Prime out of this gun and it does a great job. Now, let's take this cap off and show you why this gun gets such a bad reputation. Right off the bat, the first problem you're going to notice is that you can't get the flow cone out. It is not made to be removed. They've got this thing sealed in with some type of a pipe thread glue. And it takes an act of God to get this unscrewed from this middle piece on the assembly. But when you use a very large wrench like this, you can get this out. But what happens is it stays connected to the centerpiece. So as I'm unscrewing this, you notice that brass piece, it stays on there too. Okay, which is not a problem. Because as long as you can get this out of here, you can clean the gun. And this is what you need to do before you ever shoot one drop of paint out of this gun. You need to start by removing this piece right here. Now let's just take a look and see what we have. What do you see in there? Do you see that? There is residue, there's goop, some type of a glue that is stuck on the inside. Look at that. That's stuck in there. Now, how do you suppose this gun would be able to shoot anything with all of this garbage that is on the inside of that flow cone? Now, let's look on the inside of the actual gun. What do we notice? We also see that there's goop and glue inside of the gun. Again, how do you suppose that this gun is going to be able to shoot decently when all of that glue is around the needle and on the inside of the gun? You've got to clean that before you ever shoot. Now you can also take the back off, take the needle out. You can take this assembly out and the spring that uh, controls the return of the trigger here. And then you can take the insides out of this in addition to that and you can clean all of that. I did not have to take all of this out and I also did not take the plunger out. All I did was remove the cap and flow cone and then the back, I unscrewed this and took the needle out. 
once I've cleaned everything up, guess what? This gun shoots like a champ. The reason why people say that it is a throwaway gun is that if you shoot it the first time and it shoots great, you're not going to be able to shoot it again at the same quality of the first shot unless you clean it out. So since you can't get this, since these weren't made to be removed, that's why they call it a throwaway gun. If you remove this, and if you keep the gaskets and seals cleaned, and there are some videos on YouTube where they show people using, uh, replacing some of the O-rings in this gun, if you do that, then it's going to work fine. So if you get one and you clean it up and it shoots great on the first shot, you will be able to keep this gun. It's not going to be a throwaway gun. Now, that's not bad for $9.99. Okay, will this atomized paint in the same manner that the $1,000... Iwata Supernova will. No. But will this atomized paint where you can get a very decent paint job? Yes. I bought these for primer and for base coat. Okay. And the main reason is I had a, this is a neat little gun here. I want to show you this. This is an LVLP gun, low volume, low pressure. It doesn't have the cheesy large tapered cone design. It has the same cone of what you see in the expensive guns. Okay but it uses a whole lot less air and the overspray is almost nil. I love this gun, but you can't buy parts for them. So I had a 1.7 and I had a 1.4, the blue one there. Both of these are so uh, torn up now, the gaskets are all blown and they sputter and they, they can no longer shoot a decent paint job. I'm probably going to buy another one of these because you can pick these up for about 90 to to $100. They don't sell the two gun set anymore like they used to. I bought, I bought the uh, two gun set. It came with both guns and aluminum uh, paint cups for like 80 bucks. It was amazing. Very good buy. But since I can't get those, I was looking for another gun to get cheaply just to shoot primer. So this gun... The Harbor Freight Purple HVLP $9.99 gun will shoot primer in a fantastic way. If you clean it up right and know how to use it, I'm also going to use it to shoot base coat because it does shoot base coat okay. Will I use it on clear coat? Probably not unless it's a lower end paint job. I'm going to stick with my good gun on clear coat. I don't know how this will shoot um, metallics either. Tiger striping is a problem that you'll get when you're laying on base coats and you don't have a lot of experience. I will do a test to see how the Harbor Freight gun will be able to shoot that. But, whoopsie, sorry about that, folks. I hit the wrong button there, but that is all we have. Um, thanks for joining me. Post your comments. What do you think about the Harbor Freight $9.99 gun? I'd love to know. Can it shoot good for you it is is it garbage have you had any problems trying to modify the gun let me know one mod i'm going to be doing uh next by the way is drilling out one of these guns to increase the diameter from 1.4 to 2.0 with a 5 16th i'm sorry a 5 64th drill bit size to take it up to that 2.0 so i can shoot primer with it a lot easier so that's all we have thanks for joining me post your comments let me know what you think this is carlton flowers with color boss custom auto body shop where we just shoot it